So I think a lot of people fear ultimately realizing what their full potential is, as in like reaching it. As much as we all say we want, like that's our goal is to reach our full potential, I think there's a little bit of fear in realizing, oh, that's, that's, that was my potential. I see it as one of my first breakthroughs was when we were in North Ar Arkansas. We were running. Um, you left me behind. <laughs> you know, I was I was concentrating on the breathing. I right? had a rhythm going on. I lost my train of thought. And before I knew it, because I lost concentration on my breathing, I looked down and I was already walking. And I didn't even know. And it happened in a split second. And so my question is, how is it that you have those breakthroughs? Is it like, okay, I'm going to do this? Or do you get past a certain point that triggers something in you that tells you you can do this? Is it as is it as easy as telling yourself, or like what, what's what's something tactical you can tell the audience that will enable them to trigger that? Because anyone can go to the gym, push themselves to a certain extent, but what is it that makes that like breaking point in, in your opinion? That's a that's a really good question, and I think. And I think everyone is built differently. I am extremely competitive. In, in those situations, I'm extremely competitive with myself. And so like when I'm running and I've got the map, my run app, it's going off at the mile mark and it's telling me how fast that mile was. And so when it goes off and it says my, you know, one mile, nine minutes and 48 seconds, in my mind, I think, okay, let's see if we can do the second one faster. Just because, just because that's, I, I don't know, that's just the way I'm wired. And then when the second mile happens and it says nine minutes and 27 seconds, I'm like, okay, you were able to do that. Now let's see if you can go even faster. To me, that's, that's just the way I've always been. I'm just extremely competitive. Like when we were in sales, I mean, it was, I wanted to win more than I wanted to make the money. Um, it just so happened that by winning, you made more money. Um, but at, there was some level in my mind of it was more about the competition and about just becoming better and better and better and knowing that if that's what you're shooting for, then the money will always follow and the results will always follow. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's if it's something that I can strategically say, like, this is what you do for that. It's just that's just my mentality. Um, like when I'm running, I always want the last mile to be the fastest mile. Maybe it's because I know it, as soon as I get done, I'm done. <laughs> but there's just a, an extremely rewarding feeling for me to know that in the end, I did the best that I could do. And I just chase that feeling. I just, I just, I crave that feeling of, of when I stop feeling just like this overflow of, of accomplishment because I did the best I could on the, on the last, on the last part. And, um, you know, for, for people that are out there, I think, you know, if you, if you're not competitive like that, then you got to figure out some way to trick your brain into, into doing it. Well, I, I think it's some value. I think we talked, I've heard us talk about it, like, you know, and some staff meetings and different things like that. And, but I think there's some value to remembering why you started. A lot of times we get so far, so far into um, our journey and we start to plateau and we start to complicate all the reasons why we should keep going. When the reason why we started was strong enough to get us going and said, wait, I'm doing this, I'm getting up and doing this because it's this thing is important to me. And so when it gets to the point of okay, I don't feel like doing this anymore because of all these other things rush in, my feet hurt, this, uh, that, that. Well, that's when you started, you didn't say you would only go as far as long as your feet didn't hurt or this didn't ache or blah, blah, blah. You said, I'm doing this because of this thing. So if that thing is not done, that that could be for you to beat your, your best time. For someone else, it could be to prove to their fifth grade teacher that they could run a mile, um, whatever it is. But 
um, or, or to prove that wrong or whatever it is, uh, to prove that they're the type of person that can do this thing. But I think when we go back to the basics and don't make it, because it's all the complexity of the excuses and things that we tell ourselves in that moment that keep us from doing the things we need to do versus what's the basic reason I start? Have I accomplished that? Then I'm gonna keep going. And it's just, I think there's a power, for, for me that's been like something powerful is not complicating the reason why I need to go and do what I said I was gonna do because I'm like, well, I haven't done this yet. So I'm not gonna stop. And, but I, I think I think it has to be about essentially like why, why you started.